What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys a video and this video we're going to be talking about how to have a good stable internet connection. Uh, so this is going to be the number, this is going to be we're going to talk about one method in here. There are some methods you can do or different little methods you can try to do. This is going to be the main, main method that you can use that's going to pretty much give you an overall long lasting good internet connection with no, you know, no drops and nothing like that typically. You're going to have just a straight good internet connection. The, and the number one method here is an Ethernet cord. As you can see right here, which plugged into my laptop, when we use the laptop, for example, we're going to be jumping over, over to a screen recording here in a moment. So right here, as you can see, this is an Ethernet cable. There will be linked down in the description for one if you guys, you know, don't own one. I myself didn't own one for a while and really didn't know about this. Honestly, didn't know about this either, even when playing on console and stuff like that. So an Ethernet connection is the number one best, best to have a good, stable Internet connection. When this is plugged in, uh, instead of playing on the wireless adapter built into your laptop or console or you can buy better wireless adapters that do have a stronger connection so you can look into things like that I'm not going to show any or talk about really any of those because I have personally not used any and I really am big about if I personally not used anything not really saying oh you should go do that so I personally use an ethernet cable again one down in the description below make sure that it shows right there a little computer icon with that Another thing you can do is make sure everything else is turned off. As you can see right here, I just exited out of Google Chrome. You can open up that little tab window right there. And it'll show you all your programs running. For instance, if you're running Steam in the background, uh, Epic Games Launcher, anything like that, make sure, again, that is cut out. Uh, same thing with Xbox. Make sure, or PlayStation, make sure nothing is running in the background besides that game, which I haven't played console in a while. I knew you could have certain different little things running or something things might not running or games downloading per se. So make sure nothing's downloading in the background and nothing else is running besides the game you're playing, even if you're using the ethernet connection. This will overall uh, help your connection even if you have crappy internet, like I used to have, and I used, like I said, I used to have 10 megabytes a second. And that was, that was really bad. But with the ethernet connection, I could play a stable internet connection. We're going to be playing Warzone in this example to be showing you how good it is. So as we jump into a game, it's not gonna be very long here. I'm gonna do about a two minute little showcase of it as you can see here my latency up top is about a 39 39 40 that is exactly where you want it to be to have a good stable internet connection anything lower obviously is better but 30 and 40 is where you really want to be now if you're not getting this again if you're not using an ethernet cable definitely try an ethernet cable this is not going to solve your every th single pr problem you know if you have that bad of internet like dial up or something like that that may be the case where you really nothing helps but the ethernet cable uh, regardless if you have decent internet, good internet, or even like I said, bad internet where I had 10 megabytes a second. If you're plugging this ethernet cable, and of course the ethernet cable goes directly from your console and or laptop or uh, PC directly to the router. When that plugs in, it will give you a good, stable, overall connection. And typically you will have less, uh, you know, drops, you'll have less disconnections, all kinds of stuff like that. So do use an ethernet cable. Again, links down in the description, or a link down in the description for the one. I definitely recommend using uh, one if you can, if you're able to. If you do use a laptop, this is the HP Pavilion laptop in this uh, video that we're using. And I, like I said, even if you're using, uh, if you're using PC, Xbox, or console, uh, PlayStation, anything like that, Ethernet cable is going to come in handy. They do make them longer than the one in the description. Uh, the one in the description, I think, I believe is like six foot. You can get them longer, like the one I have right here is only about four foot. Again, you can get longer uh, Ethernet cables if you need some. I do think they make them up to 50 to 100 foot. So if you do want to run a cord and someone, you know, wherever you live or where, you know, whatever the living situation is, if if everybody's okay with you running a cord through the house, I used to do the actual same thing with my Xbox. It's going to benefit you in the long run, as you can see. You get a good, stable internet connection, even the laptop, because the laptop's connection, as far as uh, the wireless adapter that has built in is kind of crappy and that is the case for most consoles as well and most wireless adapters aren't exactly the best so I definitely recommend using an ethernet cable and that guys is how you have a good stable internet connection hope that uh, is very helpful to you uh, helpful to some of you guys uh, leave me questions if you got any questions leave me some comments down below I will try to help you out with anything uh, as far as that goes and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching